Listen, I need to make this clear. Nier has been one of my favorite anime that I've covered this year on the channel, and with their final release of episodes 9 through 12, they all dropped on the same day, we finally had the conclusion of Core 1, and to no real surprise, more Nier anime is coming, and thankfully not this year, They, I think they're scheduling it sometime next year, because Nier went through a lot of production issues, but if you were to watch episodes 1 through 12 in one go, give it to someone who had no idea about the production issues, most likely you're not going to have a majority say they expected that this show went through production hell, because it does look good despite all of the back-end BS that Aniplex and the production committee put this team through. The team I have nothing but respect for, but the situation that Nier went through, it just, it ruined hype. It really, really did. And for a show that was as thought-provoking, so engaging with hell just looking at the background details in any shot had your mind racing of what this world's been through whether it was anime onlys just like myself or fans of the game we we're all coming up every week one through a just being like damn this is a quality anime i'm happy that these final four episodes which we will talk about in length turned out really damn good i do worry about the future not necessarily even about production, but I have to wonder if the hype is even going to be there, because Nier deserves so much better. It deserved a production committee that saw that, because I'm pretty sure originally this was planned and rumored to be a back-to-back -back two core, and as we saw, that definitely fell through when production kept getting delayed and all the BS did happen. You just have to imagine that what would have happened if we had a production committee that didn't force us out sooner than they expected. Maybe they let it go until spring instead of starting it up in January of 2023, we might have developed one of the more talked about anime of the next couple of years, but now what's going to happen is when Core 2 comes out, there's going to be a fraction of the people that probably are going to discuss it. And that is a shame, because this was a quality finish, a quality show through and through. The team, nothing but respect, but you have to admit, Nier deserves so much better than the production committee that they got, which is pretty much what you expect in anime anymore. Now, I did cover all four episodes in full live reaction format over on my Patreon. If you're interested in seeing my full thoughts as I watch episodes 9 through 12, hell, I did the whole show on Patreon if you're interested. So, consider supporting if you would like to see that, but let's talk about what we saw for the finish and what I think it means for the future of the anime, because there was a lot of little elements that I appreciate, but my my big thing coming out of any near episode was what I looked at these machine life forms or the androids and how alive and human a majority felt, right? The idea of what it means to be alive. And I think my favorite part about the finish, like the final, well, it's not really even the final because the last episode with episode 12, like the credits start playing about the midway through and then we get a whole different sequence, which is amazing. But I like the fact that when it looks like 9S is dead, right? Like 9s is gone. He's, you know, he just has to reboot. He has to go to his backup. It's fine. You see 2B who over the course of this anime, and especially with these last handful of episodes, you feel like 2 starting to question a little more about emotions and what it is to be alive and the idea of losing all of the memories that they've shared recently like you can't back yourself up currently because you're infected with a virus so if you're to do that everything would be screwed so the idea of losing everything that they've built and experienced is one of the most human reactions we've seen from her character and it gets me very eager to see where a character like her would go especially given how much of a machine herself felt like over the course of the show but now really breaking free and nines i mean bless his heart man he became a very very good character way more than just the typical hacker that you saw what's very interesting is how he ends up kind of stabbing adam who's basically at this dinner table because well eve is no longer around here and it's directed in the moment a little suspicious like you know the big smile what's going on and i love how it's not till the very end of episode 12 that we see what actually happened that the sword ended up getting corrupted and then in return our boy got corrupted and we see on the ship just it is it's worrisome like what does this mean is the ship completely compromised now is is Nines himself compromised. I mean, they bait you in, making it feel like it's a hopeful ending to see him go away, and then he's in all the other machine life forms. It just was a whiplash of emotion, and the battle between Adam and Eve was surprisingly well done. Like, not in the way that I didn't expect it to be at the very least fun, but I found myself just not knowing where Adam was going to go at a moment's notice. I mean, when you have, what, the 100, 200,000 machine life forms marching in, 
and you do an EMP blast, they're all dead. I'm like, okay, I guess that's that. And then it turns into something pulled from Skyward Sword. That one monster that you have to fight like three or four times that walks up the spiral. I mean, that's exactly what it felt like. But they just delivered. I mean, there is so much action. There's so many little details that normally a show that got delayed as hard as this, you would pick up on. But I have to imagine they had a good majority of these episodes pretty close to finish. And it was just a mix and match of there was too many big details that they had to refine over the past couple of months in order to actually finish the episodes because I've seen a lot of anime come back from production delays. I can think of Uncle from Another World. Pretty much if you can throw a dart at a board and probably hit something from this season or next season or the previous season that suffered similar fates. And the fact that it comes out looking as good as it is is honestly impressive. I do have to say they have to count their lucky stars that there's literally moments in these episodes where it's literally an untextured 3D environment. At first, I was wondering if maybe that was just the anime avoiding texturing because of production delays, but I was told over on my Patreon that no, like in the game, these white textureless areas, like that's literally how it is in the game. So they definitely got lucky with having a couple of big set pieces where they didn't really have to texture it or detail it as hard because you know that would have absolutely felt on its face and any other anime probably would have been a lot worse but like I said it feels consistent and what's crazy to me is I'm just imagining between episodes 9 through 12 there's at least two or three big episodes by themselves that just I'm imagining those weekly discussions and Taking a look, I mean, the Reddit threads were doing pretty well at the time of this releasing. It wasn't the biggest show, mind you, but it was doing rather well. The discussion isn't even half of what it was when these were releasing, and that's a shame, man. Might be a mixture because maybe people just don't even know these episodes are out, wasn't advertised hard enough. Maybe Core 2 or Season 2, whatever they're calling it, when it returns, maybe that will get the discussion going. But it just is a shame because there is so much here. And constantly worrying, I was like, oh man, Jackass and Lily, they ain't making it. We're having this big-ass war about to approach. And just the idea of this almost crisis that these characters are going through about what emotions are and should machine life forms have them. And just the idea that we end with the big moment of 2B just not wanting to let go. Yes, Nines can back up and reboot and go back to a previous version but that's not the boy that she's grown so close to and the connections that they blossom and with the idea that Adam kind of infected nines and now seemingly has infected the ship I don't really know where they're going but it's very interesting because I mean over the course of the earlier episodes of near it kind of felt like the commander the woman in the ship that we would talk with and she sometimes would send reinforcements or would help us or in the case of these later episodes it didn't do a whole lot. She very much always felt like she cared more than the people above her and in these episodes it felt like those people got to her and she wasn't able to do a whole lot and I'm interested to see where the future of a character like that could go. But overall I mean I leave these episodes very happy. I think they were polished. The OST went in hard. The action was good. I mean there was actually some pretty intense animation in these battles and Seriously, it looked consistent. So that's just the shame, man. It felt like, man, they must have been so close. This would have been delayed a season or two. This core would have came out, had great discussion, and we wouldn't have suffered any delays. And people, the entire community would be like, can't wait for the next season. Now we're going to have a third, if not less, be like, even knowing that the new core's coming out. Like, it's just anime, I love you, but you definitely disappoint me with these production committees forcing things out way too soon. But as a return, fantastic i'm excited for more hopefully people will jump aboard but yeah it's it's back it's just as good as ever it's just damn i hope in the next season the next core doesn't suffer because i swear to god if we get episode two or three and we're already hearing about delays at that point just don't even watch near until it's over <laughs> it's probably the best bet but let me know what you thought of either any of these episodes or maybe the near anime as a whole. Are you, like me, depressed that the discussion is pretty much dead for this show because, well, it got delayed so hard now people aren't even going to watch it? Let me know down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. Ring that bell so you can get notified when I upload more videos to the channel. And hey, like I mentioned, we do have full live reactions to all these new episodes and the previous episodes as well if you're interested. And you also get other fun perks like video shadows, early access on certain videos, a lot of fun bonuses. So consider supporting if you so wish. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.